Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Left and Corner. Once again, as the Peach Protoss, we have Gosufur. Bottom left and corner, we have Bonbon. Bon, starting as the Hot Pink Protoss. This is going to be on Longinus, which is a three-player map. I love how it has kind of this triangle thing going on at a weird angle in the middle. This is the this is the third spawn over here at the three o'clock location. Most notable in Longinus is this wide exposed third base, which means you really have to maintain map control. So I expect a little bit more aggressive gate openers. And also, this is a really big natural expansion, and Dragoons can fire over this cliffside edge. So... And there is no ramp, and it's a wide open natural. So I feel like two gates, zealot pressure, things along those lines. I expect two gates on this map de facto, because it is a three-player map. But beyond that, being able to get superior Dragoon counts... <clears throat> and get aggressive at your opponent can really play a big a big factor in PvP, especially because it's a it's harder to defend Reavers on this map and position them, because you really have to be very, very careful. It looks like a very early scout from Gosefer. right after the 9 pylon, so I assume he is absolutely going to open up, and maybe with dedicated zealots here, there is the first gateway now, but going to scout <clears throat> the 3 o'clock location, which means he now has a lock on Bonbon's base. Bonbon dropping his first gateway down. It looks like Bonbon is going to go ahead and drop double gate. Gosefer sticking with... So really early scout, but sticking with just the single gateway thus far. And because of that delayed scout, Bonbon is going to have a edge of an economic lead. And you can almost feel like that that was the difference right there, is having that probe out a little bit earlier allowed that second gateway to go down that much faster. Also giving Bon Bon that economic edge, but in Zealot versus Zealot, that can be a big factor. And with this delayed bit of scouting, it's not like such a huge factor where he's not going to know where his opponent's coming from. The one advantage here... Is just this probe is in the base being annoying. <clears throat> Which means the zealot, rather than just marching across the map, is going to try to engage this probe, potentially. Which means the fight is potentially going to happen on Bon Bon's side of the map, which might be all that's needed. Second pylon to power the gateway nearby with the recognition of Scout. Keep in mind, Gosefer right now doesn't have, or sorry, that Bon Bon doesn't have an absolute intel as far as where his opponent's base is. A second probe went out. Is this going to be some cheese? Gosefer with the probe, second probe out at near location. Three zealots going to be out to go ahead and engage. Yeah, so pylon dropping nearby. Gosefer showing the two gate, but he does need to kill the zealot and this probe. Sooner rather than later. And also he has no gas. So I guess he's just going to go straight up 3-gate. Anti-manor anti -manor pylon. Loses one probe right there. But is able to take out that probe otherwise. Which means this is... I'm waiting for... Are we going to see like a forge? What are we... I, I, absolutely we should expect a gateway here. And I'm wondering what the delay is. Yeah, there's the gateway. And I'm wondering if this is actually just going to be straight up 4-gate. Yeah, 4-gates. So Gosefer is going all in with Zealots in the early game and has done a really great job of eliminating information for Bonbon. Bon. So Bonbon bon bon in potential trouble here because he has, for the moment, a superior amount of Zealots momentarily. But if he doesn't get a move on, he's just going to get overwhelmed, especially with his build order because he didn't go Assimilator to follow. He went straight up Nexus. So he's going to need a slew of cannons. Let's see if he plops down a forge sometime in the near future. But even with those cannons, this is going to be so many zealots streaming in. This is absolutely all in from Gosefer, by the way. Gosefer starting to move these zealots across the map. Bonbon bon is going to engage. And this is even worse because he's going to end up engaging these zealots mid-map. Microing here, which is going to allow some of these zealots that are just now being produced to slide into a wide open natural expansion potentially. Regrouping now. Bonbon bon returning home. A lot of these zealots heavily damaged. And these two zealots actually might be able to just sprint right by to get into those probe lines. 
Two zealots on a cutoff route. That should be the indication from Bonbon. You can see Ghost of Her kind of sheepishly trying to hide it. Now getting the sweep. Good spread from Ghost of Her. Wonderful concavity. The probe's now pulling off the line to try to help defend. There's no shield battery here. So the probes are needed to at least buy some time. The probe's now pulling back, but I think this is just going to be a build order win here. For Ghost of Her, re-engaging. More Zealots streaming in from the right-hand side. And now it is overwhelming amounts of Zealots. There's GG from Bon Bon, and that is going to be a quick, a very rapid 2-0 lead for Ghost of Her. And actually showing, like, previously, I believe Ghost of Her, if memory recalls, in previous seasons of Hustle League, actually got eliminated by more creative play. So it's nice to see him engaging in creative play in a tournament situation to advance. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.